Contract talks continue at three hospitals across the state. One of the main things the nurses are fighting for is what they're calling safe staffing. Diana Co explains why this is such a sticking point and how it affects you as a patient. You have failed to adjust our many concerns. A Hawaii Nurses Association member reads aloud a letter aimed at Queens Medical Center CEO Jason Chang on Wednesday morning. She and about 120 other Queens nurses marched to the Queens Medical Center to deliver copies of nearly 100 reports about unsafe staffing incidents. In the past three years, what's happening is their patient loads have gotten heavier or they're you know a little more sick but still maintaining the amount of patients rather than less. So less attention to the patients. Talks between Queens and Hawaii Nurses Association have been going on for about a half a year. I asked Queens to comment on the safe staffing issue, but it would only say it, quote, continues its conversations with HNA and remains hopeful an agreement can be reached. Another hospital, Kapi'olani Medical Center and HNA are talking Thursday. If that doesn't go well, the nurses strike Friday. The following day, the hospital will lock them out. It assures the public it hired temporary nurses to replace the striking ones, so patient care will not be affected. Safety is our number one priority here at the medical center, and our patients are safe. And our policies and procedures have safety at the forefront. And we know that our patients are safe here at the medical center. It says every patient needs a different level of care, so flexibility is better than setting patient to staff ratios. Kauai's Wilcox Medical Center has been in contract talks for four months. What's best for our community is being flexible um, to the community needs. So if, for example, we had a hurricane that came through and we had a lot of patients that were sick um, from, you know, being out in the weather, um, being able to be flexible to that is much more important to our community than having the ratios. HNA says this is becoming a public health issue that needs legal intervention. It's something we tried to address at legislation. And, you know, they said they said that to us, well, do it at the bargaining table, right? And so that's what we did. And now we're at the bargaining table and now the employer is like pummeling us and just fighting with us, and now, like, this lockout is coming. Island News asked the governor, who was an ER doctor, and the House and Senate leadership for comment. Eleven states across the country have safe staffing laws. August U is concerned nurse burnout will lead to more of them quitting. If we don't do something now, we're going to lose more experienced people, more local nurses that will go away. Diana Coe, Island News.